I'm with Sally Limkemeyer, who, along with her late husband, Ned, have been longtime and very faithful and active members of St. Peter's. Sally is going to say a little bit about a ministry that she was responsible for helping to bring into, into being called the Haven of Grace. But before she does that, I want to just remind you that over the next several weeks, as part of our annual giving tree, we are uh, uh, helping to support and not only uh, support but hold up um, several ministries, one of which is the Haven of Grace. And this Sunday, uh, the executive director from that ministry will be at St. Peter's to, to make a presentation um, about uh, the many wonderful things that are happening there. But I wanted you to be able to hear just a little bit more about that ministry uh, from Sally. Well, the Haven of Grace was started at St. Peter's by St. Peter's people, and there were a whole group of us that did it. Um, I was not alone. Um, and I, it started, we started planning it in 1986 uh, when our then minister, I'm trying to remember who it was, um, Schmidt, Dick, Dick Schmidt, called for anybody to gather at a meeting who was interested in outreach. And about 12 of us showed up, and we ended up, long story short, of being the board of the board of the Haven of Grace. Each of us had a function in making the Haven work. Um, so I remember laughing at the time with the trouble that it, we went to to make it work. If, if this lasts even five years, we'll be grateful. And so now, do the math, I think maybe it's 35 years. Yeah. And for those who may not be familiar with what Haven of Grace is, say, say something about what, what it We are a residence, does. a residence for young women who uh, are pregnant and homeless. Um, they can be with us for a year, uh, ten, 10 in the residential part, and then after that they can move to one of our apartments for one to two years, and after that, they can be in our aftercare program for 10 years. So it's a powerful way to make change in these women's lives that yeah. really sticks. Uh, so we've had some real success stories that are fun to hear. It is a powerful way to make an impact, and it's a powerful ministry. I hope that you'll come and learn more about it this Sunday. But most of all, I hope that you will uh, take an ornament uh, off of the Giving Tree in support of the Haven of Grace or one of the other ministries that we're supporting uh, through uh, the Giving Tree. God bless you.